So this is W6FCC. We're going to run through a couple of quick uh, problems you can you can run into. I've installed the uh, ICOM remote system on a computer that is at a local address 172.16.42.137. That's somewhere else on my LAN. And I've run up RSB1 remote here and I've already created the server list and I've connected to that server. When I connect to the server, the radio list is filled in. So we're going to try to use this radio. But here's what happens if you if you uh, don't quite set things up right. Let's say you say, oh, I have an IC7. I mean, one thing you can do right off the bat is pick the wrong radio. I mean, that's that's a normal not doing the right radio. But then you say, oh, the connection is remote and I'm not using the utility, which, of course, is a mistake. But let's just say we're not using it. You say OK, and then you uh, want to connect to the radio. So here's the first kind of problem that you run into. You go to connect to it. Looks like it's going to try. And uh, it's doing something. We're not exactly sure what. And oops, communication failed. OK, so let's cancel that. Let's go ahead now and disconnect this. And now let's change the connect set. Oh, that's right. I'm using the IC7300, and it's the connection now is uh, USB because that's how the radio is connected to the server. And I do want to use the remote utility, so let me pick that 7C low. And so this all lines up. So we have uh, COM port 3, correct? 115K, right? 7C is the CIV address, and V audio 5 over here. So you say OK, and uh, this is version 2, so it does something with the audio. All right, so I say connect. And we're uh, waiting for it to connect. This is like the second level of mistakes you can make. And it's uh, still working away, and it's uh, going to fail. Oops, can't communicate with the radio. OK, so let's cancel this. I want to disconnect each time I do this. This time, let's actually connect to the radio. So you highlight it, come down here and click Connect. And it's going to go out. And now it says Connected. And you may see a situation in which the virtual port isn't selected. If that's the case, just select anything because it's virtual. It doesn't have to be a real hardware port. OK, now let's set the Connect set here to the 7300. OK, this is all correct and you go ahead and connect to the radio. Apologize for the voice, but it's kind of talked out here over the last couple of days. Okay, so let me turn this volume down here. Uh, you may actually be hearing something, but I am not, and I'll explain why here in a second. So let me hit the scope, and I'm going to go into the transmit mode. I have no power here, so let me go to transmit. And hello one two three four. There's nothing, nothing happening here. Whoops! It gave me a little blip, but still nothing's going on. So I turn off the transmitter. Here's another source of the problems. I'm going to right-click on the Windows. Oh, it's not showing, but I right-click on that little icon at the bottom, and I'm going to collect sounds. And when I select sounds, I get this window. and It starts here with sounds, which I don't really care about the default sounds. What I want to do is to say, OK, on the recording, oh, look at this. The program defaults by selecting the first audio that it can find. And it did this because I had told it to use default devices. And it didn't know about my microphone or my speaker. But I can see that while I'm talking, this is the active microphone. So let me click on this. And let me set that to the default. And then let me say OK to that. And I now go ahead and transmit with the scope on. Let me get the scope on the front again. And I'll go ahead and transmit. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. So now we're actually putting out some RF here. It's lower sideband, so it's all below the carrier. Now, if you can't hear anything, you may have a similar problem. And I'm going to go down here and right click on the little speaker icon again. And I'm going to pick sounds. And this is the window you should get when you pick sounds. 
uh, I need to look at recording. Oh, I've already done that. Look at playback. Oh, look at this. It's chosen for playback the V Audio 5. Now that may very well have some audio on it. Oops, put away the scope. There may be audio on this. Uh, you see, I'm actually hearing some audio there, but I'm not hearing it out of the speaker. The reason is is that this is really the wrong place for the real audio going to your speaker. Let me pick this one, set that one as default, say OK, and I'll do a little quick test here. Test it. And lo and behold, I have audio. Now when I turn up the audio gain, I actually hear some, some audio. And when I go into the uh, transmit mode, I'm transmitting. So there you go. These are a couple of mistakes that you can make. You do have to, and then be sure when you're done with the program to disconnect RSPA1. You can shut that down. And then disconnect from your radio. Disconnect. And you're finally done with this. So these are the kinds of mistakes. Not connecting, not telling it that it's connected to a USB port, which is what's true <coughs> on the server. Hopefully that helped, and uh, good luck setting up things. But that's how you—that's one of the couple of mistakes that you can make. W6FCC again. Sorry for the voice, but today is a is a rough one for me. Have fun.